Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be demonstrating the fourth um, Studio One 4.6 new feature included on the series of tutorials. And that feature is the new template that was added by Presonus on Studio One that's basically designed for podcast productions, okay? As you might know, podcast and influencers are the thing right now, right? Everyone has their own podcast. Everyone has their own talk show, their own YouTube channel. Um, so Presonus has decided that, hey, we should make a template for people making podcasts. So they can basically create a new song from a template and call it for the day. It should be ready. So that was really cool. And that's going to save us a lot of time if you're like me and you have your own podcast. So here we are, uh, Studio One Pro. Um, this is the main Studio One window in which we're going to create a new song. And we're going to select from the Styles tab. We're going to go through the templates and there's one called Podcast Production. Podcast Recording and Editing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press OK. So we create it and boom. I'm going to go ahead and hide the mix and browse. Just to show you a couple of things here. Um, very useful. Three tracks have been created. There is a music or effects track, host and guest. The music or special effects track, it's a stereo audio track. And you should use it to add your intros and outros as well as your sound effects. So you can basically import your files there. If you have a song, some kind of intro, some kind of output, you basically click and drag it there and you place it wherever you want. You also have a host track. The host is the person uh, moderating the show and that's going to be a mono audio track. As you can see, it already has mic one assigned as the input. So you only need to arm it and you're ready to record. You also have a guest track that has the uh, input set to mic number two. The guest is the person you're interviewing and or the person that is there with you at the show. And this person um, or this track, it's also a mono audio track. You could set it to another mic or some kind of loop back from Skype if it's some kind of online, um, uh, some kind of online show. In this case, it's set to an analog input, so the guest has to be there. One more time, you you have to arm it and you're ready to go. A couple other cool things. If you go to your mix view, and let's make this bigger. Let me show you a couple of things here that I think are really useful. Your music and effects track already has a FAT channel insert applied with some kind of uh, tube compression limiting, a little bit of EQ, and a little bit of FAT channel here. It also has a another plugin, which is a regular digital PreSonus compressor set to a 3 to 1 ratio. Now you also have your host and guest tracks. Both have a channel strip plugin associated. One more time, it has a gate, a high pass filter, some kind of tube compression, and a passive EQ. Also a limiter. And obviously a de-esser because you're working with people talking. So you're going to have a lot of S's that you need to get rid of. Another very cool thing. Uh, and we need to make this, there you go. You can see there are sends already set here. Uh, there is a send to a room aux track. So you have a track here, it's labeled as room, and it's basically a track that has a room reverb insert applied to it. So using these sends, you send the dry signals into this reverb to emulate some kind of room sound. And last but not least, you have a sidechain music or FX send, which basically sends the dry signal of your host and guest track to trigger the sidechain input of the compressor on the music track. So you're basically ducking your music. So your music is playing, you're listening to the band or whatever is happening on the back. And as soon as the host or the guest, as soon as they talk, 
that signal triggers the compressor. It compresses the music and it's going to duck it down so that you can listen to these two guys talk or these two people. Last thing, if you go to your main track output, you're going to see there is a channel strip also that has a high pass filter gate applied to it. So that is your uh, podcast music production or podcast production template. Sorry. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If you have a podcast, I encourage you to use this template because it's it's there. It's ready. You just need to open it and start working. So if you have any other questions, as always, you can contact us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.